It's 6.33 a.m. Woke up at 5. I haven't been able to go back to sleep. And if I'm gonna be honest, it's one of my favorite sensations. Because I am not an early riser. You know, sometimes it's like, good luck getting me up before noon. So on those days where my body naturally wakes me up before the sun's up, I'm gonna take advantage of it. Can you see the like sides of my pillow? And I woke up and it was slightly drizzling and the sun wasn't up yet and I just wanted like a nice tea and I got it. Now I'm energized and I have some kind of like fun, weird to do items that I want to cross off together. It's been a minute since I was last on youtube.com and since then I've gotten on- <laughs> I got an awesome mullet, woo, lifelong dream finally fulfilled. But yesterday I was messing around with some hair looks for an upcoming music video. I spit up my entire head. I'm just gonna try and slick it back to where I had it. And then maybe we'll talk a little bit about our adventure today. Really, I just wanna go thrifting. And it's always nice to have a specific mission, a specific hunt when one is thrifting. Today I have a very special mission. I wanna find some Garfield shirts. Well, I think I need more loose t-shirts in general. I just am missing like a cotton t-shirt with a fun little saying on it. Yesterday, I fell down a YouTube hole and I ended up binge watching this show from my childhood, which, our childhood? How old are you guys? I'm just kidding, don't answer that. Called Garfield and Friends. My sister and I used to rent the like box set from the video store. And it's a show from the 80s. Like I think it was like 88. Like it wouldn't have aired I don't think when we were kids, but we used to like specifically seek out these Garfield and Friends like box set DVDs from the video store. And I just love, I mean, God, that cat. So yeah, anyways, sorry that you guys can't see my mullet. You know when you know it's time to cut your hair when you like just start slicking it back or just like wearing it up or in a bun? I was doing that a lot right before I got a cut. Like literally all of my looks were just like <laughs> But can I be honest? If it weren't out of sheer desperation, I just love the look. I just love like a <laughs> I just love, I think I wanna be bald, I think. There was just nothing more fun than going out, having your hair slicked back and just not having to think about it. You can like dance around at parties. So if I'm being honest, I am a little excited to be rocking a slick back look again because I didn't think that my mullet could do that. I also kind of needed to check in and make sure I could, which brings us to, I guess, the other errand that we're running today, which is going to get some hair for some upcoming visuals. We're really just on the hunt for some Garfield merch, some hair, and we'll see what else we find along the way. What I failed to think about is the fact that it's 7.30 a.m. and Valley Village doesn't even open until 10. So now I'm left with some time to kill. In the meantime, I'll do some B12 sublingual. Wait, I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. I was literally just about to take this time to sit with a, t a teeth whitening strip on because I recently got tooth gems, but turns out that they don't slay as hard if you have like yellow teeth from drinking coffee every day. Kids. Not to be a cornball, but I've like I've tried to start off my days with meditation. It's a practice like mindfulness, trying to find comfort within the discomfort, and also just because the one that I listen to, the lady is really nice and it's nice to hear nice things. And I noticed there was one day that I didn't meditate. I had a shit day that day. But every day that I have meditated has been a pretty good day. So, you know, I think while I have some time, I'm gonna listen to some of those meditations because they just, you know, they just make me feel good. The lady's voice is really nice. What's her name? Shout out, purely being good at meditations. Is this a white woman who has built her career off saying namaste? Yes. Does she have a really sweet voice and positive energy? Also, yes. So leave me alone. Silent you gotta go. Let's go get this day. Yes, queen. From my boundless- God, it's still only 8.30. It's fine. I will make a playlist for the car ride. 
Uh. And then we'll see where we're at. The good news is that the hair store opens in like 10 minutes, which I feel like is also a strategic first stop because thrifting makes me really tired. I'm very inexperienced shopping for hair extensions or whatever, so I feel like if I go there exhausted, I'm more likely to like leave with no answers, whereas if that's my first stop, I can get that out of the way. Perfect. And it opens in 10 minutes, so I've made my favorite dish as of late, which is an iced herbal tea. This one's peppermint and jasmine. And I love this jar, but I've made one grave mistake. Do you see that? This could be really bad. That was a win. That was, hold on, I gotta recline for this one. That was a magical experience. I've never browsed like braiding supplies or anything like that before just cause my hair texture does not. But it was just, ah, oh, it was so cool. The like wide span of materials and like synthetics and real, it was just very fascinating. Okay, 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 okay. And then here's where you can bully me, I guess. I like got one with a claw clip. But listen, I know myself, I know that I'm inexperienced when it comes to installing hair, so why would I not just get the easiest thing? Okay. Yeah, and I think that the color is pretty, like, ow! Wait, I feel like I should FaceTime someone right now. Oh, he looks so good! Oh, you're missing out, buckaroo. Oh! <laughs> I feel like Arianka. When I tell you, I swerved into this parking lot after seeing what I just saw. In hopes that maybe it could just be a fun side quest for us today. It just looks so kitschy and wonderful. It's the uh, Candle Holder Museum, and they hold the world record apparently for the world's largest collection of candle holders. VIP $200. For ten, oh, ten dollars. Okay, but I also want to relax and come in. It's not even open. What kind of a place is this? At least I can say I tried to go. It says it's sold. It's available for a lease. 1,111 different pieces. And there's also 111 locations in the world. I can so vaguely see inside and it literally looks like someone's basement with candles on the floor. My best case scenario would have been a whimsical shop owner, but it is dark in there. And it literally looks like someone's basement clutter from what I saw. Very disappointing. They really did the most to make the exterior say, Candle Museum! We have the whole world's largest collection! Oh, third question. Third question. They said they have a hundred... They said that they hold the record. That museum holds the record for the most candle holders in the world. 1,111. They also said they have another 111 locations worldwide. So do all of those locations also hold the world record or was that location specifically had the most? I doubt that they're replicating this into a 111 museum locations worldwide. I have so many questions! Okay, I'll Google it later, I'll Google it later. not cleaning this up earlier. There was no Garfield stuff. There was no Garfield stuff in any section. Uh, there's a big void that did not get filled today, but.
yeah there was a big void that did not get filled today <laughs> Nap time hit. That's that's the thing about waking up super early is like, you always do need a little daytime nap, which never feels good, but is needed. Also I showered the mullets back out and ready to play. So as disappointed as I am about not finding any Garfield merch today, I did want to show you some of the other stuff that I got. I don't know, it's pretty basic, but it could be exciting. I got a new pair of bike shorts. Oh, they're kind of like the camel toe design. Like, why, why put a seam there? But they work, I guess. And then I just needed some really basic short shorts. I did get some of those basic t-shirts that I wanted. It's like a dark blue champion one. Same with this basic kind of like orangey coral one. It also just kind of needs a bit of a crop. Ooh, I don't like these. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Can I like cut one of the linings out? There's like one, two, three, four. There's like four linings in these pants. Like these were supposed to be just like light and like swishy little sweatpants and they feel so full. Another basic shirt. I don't know what this it's like a janitorial business. I don't know what it is, but I, I like the logo. It's a comfy feeling shirt. And then I really liked the skirt. And then lastly, this like fun bubble top. I've been looking for like a cute kind of like tennis style skirt. Yeah, that's basically it. even playing. I really was just laying in bed watching TV and then I was like, you know what would be more fun? Let's go build a fire in the woods. And I do feel the need to emphasize that nothing on the ground is dry. <laughs> I, gu I guess I just love to challenge myself. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 